What's up loves, it's your girl Honey Lay and welcome back to the channel. So as y'all can see by the title, we are gonna be doing some uh, pin curls today. I'm super excited because this used to be my go-to hairstyle, y'all. Like when I first started getting like sew-ins in college, wigs, whatever the case may be, pin curls was my go-to because I just feel like they last way longer than when you flat iron and do your curls, when you do a curling iron, do your curls, flexi rods do your curls. Like I just feel like pin curls do what they need to do. The only thing that I'm gonna be using today, y'all, is going to be my flat iron right here, which is the Keeposy. This flat iron was gifted to me from my mother and my sister um this is what that looks like it's called key posy it does what it needs to do for me and then as far as what we're going to use to hold the pin curls you can use um like bobby pins and stuff but i usually use the salon like clamps because i just feel like they hold it better than the pink or the y'all know what i mean now as far as the heat setting that i'm going to use for these pin curls i usually I pretty much just use like 380 to 400 when I'm dealing with like weave. And what I normally do is I just part it down the middle this way because I usually do a middle part. If you don't do a middle part, I don't really think it matters because you're gonna be like combing them out with a big tooth comb anyway. So honestly, baby, the, the middle part way is the easiest way to do it. And honestly, as far as the sections go, I don't do any specific sections. I kind of just grab and go because I just feel like that helps with like the volume of the pin curls itself. And depending on how tight you want the curls, how voluminous you want. The curls to be depends on how many sections you're gonna take and how many sections you're actually gonna pin curl I don't necessarily want this hair to be too out there I don't want it to be too curly so I probably am only gonna take maybe six to eight sections per side for the pin curls just to make sure that there's enough volume there for me to have like that curly pretty look but also though it's not like too you know I don't want it to be doing a little too much okay so my fly iron is now at 380 okay so I'm gonna go ahead and start doing the pin curls y'all I am super, super nervous about this. I'm going to take a clip, actually, and pin the remaining hair right here that's not being currently pinned up to my head so I can get it out of the way because I just feel like when it's out of the way, it makes things 10 times easier. And so this is the section right here that I am going to be working with. I do have my brush, so I'm going to go ahead and brush it out because I just feel like when you brush it out, it just ensures or it, it makes it so that your curls are I guess smoother is what I'm trying to say to y'all. <laughs> so comb that out. And so then once you comb it out, make sure you have your pin to the side that you're gonna use to clamp this. You are gonna curl this just like you would a regular curl. Like you're literally gonna take your flat iron. If you never curl with a flat iron, I'm not even gonna lie to you. I still have trouble doing it. Like I'm not gonna sit up here and make it seem like this is an easy thing. Like I still to this day struggle with curling my hair, but you're gonna take it like this. You're gonna take it, clamp it onto your hair. And what I do is I take this part and I bring it around like this okay and then i twist this back up and so then i just slide down and as i slide down i twirl some and you don't want to hold it too tight because if you hold it too tight or you clamp it too tight together it will not move down and so then you have a curl and so naturally if you would like to curl it and you want it to be curlier towards the top you can do it again so we're going to try it again and we're going to do the same thing wrap it around you're gonna take it down, and as you take it down, you twirl the flat iron so that it curls. And see, now you have more volume at the top of your curl, and you have a pretty curl. So now, once you get the curl that you want, you're going to take the curl, and the easiest way that I used to do is I used to just sit it in my hand. So this little curl part at the end, right here, I used to sit the curl in my hand and just press it up. So curl, there's my curl. Take it, press it up, and then once you have it in your hand, I used to just take it and curl the rest of it up like that. And then you take your pin, and I put it in the middle of the curl, and then connect it to the other part of the curl over here, which is still connected to the sew-in. And there, you got a pin curl, woo! You got your first pin curl. Not that hard, honestly. I think the hardest part about a pin curl is just like, if you're doing it with a flat iron, which you don't have to do with a flat iron, I'm doing it because I do not own a curling iron. If you have a curling iron, it's gonna make your life 10 times easier. So if you have a curling iron, it's kind of self-explanatory. You curl it, you just bring it up, like I did with the hands, and you pin it, and boom, there's your pin curl. If you have a flat iron, like I just showed y'all, there's kind of a little technique that goes with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the hair. I'm gonna slow it down so y'all can see y'all can see a little bit of my cap please ignore that um but yeah let's pin curl the rest of this head
right y'all and just like that it didn't take no time honestly like maybe 10 15 minutes to do one side and i'm about to go ahead and do the other side let it sit for a little bit and then we're gonna go ahead and take them out so y'all can see the final product these honestly don't even need to sit that long i'm going to shower get dressed and do my makeup and stuff and then i'll be back for y'all to see what the hair looks like all right y'all so we are back face is giving what it needs to give for tonight and we are about to take these pin curls out i'm excited to see what they're gonna look like i think i had these pin curls in for maybe 30 minutes um as a whole um while getting ready and stuff of that nature maybe a little longer than that honestly i don't really know the exact time but it's been a long enough time i feel like for them to set and kind of cool down so we're gonna start from the side that we originally had went ahead and did the pin curls in and take them down just to kind of see what they are giving so i just go in and i pull the clips out and then like if they get caught kind of trying to untangle them as best as possible um without getting them like stuck stuck in your head or pulling like the curl out itself so i'm just gonna go around in my head and take these pins out or these clips out of my pin curls and i'm not gonna manipulate them just yet i'm just gonna literally kind of just take these pins out until you know they're out of my entire head So this is the second side. So as you can see, the curls are very voluminous and they're pretty curled. I highly recommend using a Y2 comb if you want your curls to stay to an extent. I just feel like when you use the brush, it completely brushes out the curls. Like I feel like your curls will drop way faster than if you use the comb, you know, in comparison to that, because naturally the curls drop anyway. So it's like, don't force it any more than it needs to be. But I usually just go ahead and do like you do with natural hair and I start from the bottom of the curl and kind of just comb that out and I go up until I get a look that I like. Oh, I have a pin that I forgot about. all right and this is what it looks like a freaking combed out y'all i'm so excited i honestly think that the second side looks better than the first side i don't know what went, what's up with the ends like i don't really know what happened with the ends in the process of me doing what i need to do but they look a little bit i don't know like these ends look they're giving a little bit more than these ends are right here but at the same time we could just do this we can do one of them styles where it goes back there and it is up here i'm gonna go ahead and take this off you guys this is the band to help the lace stay down um i do have a closure sew in but i have the lace so that it's melted so that um it gives very much skin like so that's what it's looking like right now i'm gonna take my hot comb right here and kind of just like smoothen out the tops of these just to kind of give it a more melted look and then we are ready y'all okay we are ready all right, and now that it's hot enough, we're just gonna go ahead and literally comb this down right here in the front so that it just gives a flatter look. I feel like this is what gives the melted look, regardless if it is synthetic, regardless if it's human. Like, this is what does the trick. This is what makes it look like it's coming out your scalp, okay? All right, y'all, and then this is the final look. I highly suggest if you want it to last longer because this is going to fall, I promise you it will, especially with these bundles that I have. If you want it to last longer, spray it with some hairspray. Sometimes if I am desperate, I have got to be glue or I'll do the ebon spray just so that these curls I know are staying, but they turned out so good, y'all. I think the reason I really, really like this technique is because this technique naturally looks smooth. It gives that shiny look and, you know, I don't know, it's just something about the flexi route look that just doesn't do it for me all the time but y'all this looks 
so freaking good and it's giving scalpiana period i'm gonna be doing a full hair review on this um hair that i got y'all i actually got this from amazon it's another amazon hair review i'm so excited this is a sew-in so if you're a sew-in girl like me i really feel like i'm getting back into my sew-in era stay tuned for that because that is coming very 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 soon love y'all so much make sure y'all subscribe to the channel we are on the road to 2k subscribers you guys make sure y'all check out my tiktok check out my instagram i will be posting more content frequently love y'all so much i'm about to go have a good time tonight and i'll see y'all in the next video bye y'all